Well, um, actually, Brian, it's my second uh, novel that I have written and published. Um, the sec this uh, current book um, was released yesterday. It's called um, When the Heart Cries. And actually, it's a collection of poems that um, I have written over the years. And I recently put the collection together and published this book, um, which I um, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, that's the cover here. And it's available on Amazon. It's available on Barnes & Noble. Um, many of the major uh, like book sites, um, you can buy it then. But perhaps uh, for Belizeans, I guess Amazon might be easier. Well, what really motivates you to put this collection together? So... I have recently lost my mother, who was actually the person who inspired me to write and pursue my dreams. And I, I guess I was inspired by, over the years, the life experiences of my mom and, you know, many like women who have gone through many hardships in their life and have overcome them and did, you know, better in the long term. And I was hoping that this book would bring that kind of inspiration, you know, to, to other people and other women, because in life, we all deal with hard times, but it's how we survive it and how we triumph over it. Yeah, so um, how can Belizean access the book? Um, you mentioned that the book is on Amazon. Um, would there be any hard copies that would be printed or something to that extent, or it would be only on Amazon? So currently um, it's in several uh, bookstores um, in the US, but I'm hoping to, at the end of the year, have copies available for sale in, a, in my local town in PG. So if you're interested, you know, uh, connect with me and yeah, definitely I, at the end of the year, I, there will be copies available in PG as well. Are you planning to come down to do a lunch here in PG? Yes. In fact, there have been women um, in my local community in PG who have reached out several times to do, a, you know, some kind of a book launch. And in my previous novel, I had uh, linked up with some of these women, local women in our community who were interested in doing a book club. And I'm hoping, um, you know, to keep that going and I'm hoping at the end of the year definitely I would love to do that. What word of encouragement would you have for younger students you know who I who are aspiring to you know be one day become a writer and what would you um you know see it today? I can always recall ever since I was a young girl my mom said don't be afraid to live your dreams. And for young people, especially today, you know, with, with so much negative stuff uh, piled up against them, I feel that's even more important for them to hear because as long as you're willing to put in, you know, the hard work and you're dedicated to what you want, in the end, you can succeed at, you know, whatever you, you wish to pursue in life. 